What is green infrastructure? Green infrastructure is a term for the natural vegetative systems and green technologies that provide society with a multitude of economic, environmental and social benefits. In a natural environment, rain and floodwaters are absorbed and filtered by plants and soils. In traditional development, water is conveyed away as quickly as possible. This water picks up pollutants, speed and volume as it is emptied into the nearest water body. Green infrastructure can sustainably manage our flood and rainwaters. This includes urban forests, wetlands, bioswales, engineered wetlands and storm water ponds. It also includes waterways and riparian areas like the ones along the Courtney River. We can recreate natural systems like wetlands, or better yet, leave existing systems in place. Green floodplain infrastructure focuses on flood resiliency, not flood protection. It is not about preventing the flood, the damming solution, but about allowing it to occur naturally without causing dangerous or expensive damage. Sims Park and potentially Lewis Park and Courtney Slough could provide green infrastructure that would make room for flooding to occur naturally, allowing water to flow instead of damming it back. Fish passages become an important aspect of the flood relief infrastructure. The side channels that Project Watershed enhanced to be better fish habitat in Sims Park can function as flood relief. Increasing flood relief connections through Lewis Park and the Courtney Slough would give floodwaters space and allow them to dissipate quickly. A restored couscousum would do just that. Attenuate localized flooding, filter runoff, and slow the release of water into the river. Strong political support for green infrastructure practices will bring nature into the city, reducing costs and maintenance while keeping our natural systems living.